For today's workout, I am doing shoulders and Josh is doing back. So we will be going back and forth, no pun intended, between my shoulder workout and his back workout. So you'll see on the screen the reps and the sets that I was doing as well as Josh. So for my first set, I did 50 lateral raises and I tried to do five sets of 10 and then the same for the next exercise, which is seated shoulder bombs. I again did five sets of 10 of those. The most important thing to remember when you're doing a shoulder bomb is that you need to reverse out of it. So as you can see, when I go up, my arms are fully extended, but when I come down, my arms are bent. So that's what I mean when I say reverse out. You don't want to go down the same way that you come up. And this will really help to prevent any rotator cuff injury and to protect your shoulders in the future. The most important thing to remember, male or female, when you're lifting back, you need to imagine your muscles swallowing your spine. Once you have that mind to muscle connection, your back workouts will increase dramatically. Josh just completed seven reps of this lap pull down variation and then he moves to single arm in which he does eight reps on each arm. Busted. Oh. What do I do now? Uh, Show me. I'd help, but I'm filming. No, you're fine. You're gonna want to get the resistance to be a little bit higher than parallel. Okay. So like if you're laying down, you're gonna want it coming from about. I need, uh, maybe a little. I need short handles. Yeah. Oh, there's two. Okay. You can use the long handles, it doesn't matter. Now, the more you bend your arm, the more track is going to be recruited. So I want straight. Keep it as straight as possible. Okay. Your body naturally is going to want to bend your arms just because your traps are a much larger muscle and want to take over yeah. the workload as your rear delts fatigue. Okay. So just fight it. Okay. All right, hop up, baby. I'll show you. So you're going to want to scoot this back. Okay. You're not touching. Okay. So when you come in, so see where my rear delts are? Yeah. So just think of drawing the line through the cable right into your rear belt. Okay. So it's here. Okay. Okay. See the angle on that? Yeah. You so you almost want to touch the ground. Huh? You almost want to touch the ground. Right. Okay. So just each person's going to be a little different uh -huh. with how your body's made. So you may feel it more here, you may feel it more here. Okay. I feel it more here. Okay. Now again, don't be alarmed because as the more you do this, the more you'll start feeling it in your triceps. Again, just try to have that mind to muscle connection that you're really focused on your rear delts. And they're a small muscle, so your body's going to want to recruit everything else that it can. Okay. You give that a try. <laughs> Sorry. So that's a lateral raise. More. There you go. How's that feel? Good. All right. I'm going back to my back workout. Okay. Okay. All right, back to the back. That's kind of funny.
We absolutely love incorporating band work into our workouts. This is because free weights alone will not give you maximum stimulation throughout the whole range of motion of the exercise. For example, we all know everyone can do a lot more weight if they only do half squats or partial curls or any form of quarter reps. This is due to obvious different strength levels throughout your full range of motion. Since the free weight load doesn't change during the range of motion of a rep, you're not stimulating maximum overload throughout the full range of motion, which leaves, leaves room for improvement in muscle gains. This is where bands come in. Bands continue to add more and more resistance as the band stretches during the movement, providing more and more load on the muscle. This is obviously something free weights can't do alone. It goes unsaid, but adding bands into your training regimen can clearly catapult the results you're missing out on. You can order our bands on bomarbands.com, and for YouTube followers, if you use the code LOYALTY at checkout, you'll get 20% off. My next exercise is front raises with the rope. This will really help target your front delts. Again, you want to reverse out of it, so come down differently than the way you go up to protect those rotator cuffs. My second to last exercise for my shoulder workout is the reverse pec deck, but I'm targeting the rear delts. You want the weight to be in between your ears and your neck. And my final exercise for my shoulder workout was a hundred battle rope slams. So that's one. Here's two and two. So I did a hundred of those. I tried to do 10 sets of 10 reps. Do you ever move? Buddy, I don't blame ya. I don't blame ya. Okay, so I'm going to be making um, venison fajitas in the crock pot. I love the crock pot so much because it's like a set it and forget it thing and it's amazing so if you don't have venison you can use you know turkey you can use organic beef um whatever you want you could even make this a vegetarian dish so it's ever whatever you want to use i'll show you guys it's super easy it's only five ingredients but i'll show you guys uh what i'm doing Thank <laughs> you.